What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Molt Man episode. It is pouring down rain, but as you can see, me and my dad went out this morning and had a great day. So let's get to fishing and then uh, I'll catch you back here and we're gonna clean this guy up. All right guys, it is pouring down rain. Um, I just wanna show you what we're using today. Just a little Shakespeare rod with some, what is this, 90 pound? Yep, it's basically like trout, trout, uh, trout line line. And then he's got two big treble hooks, um, one on top of the other, and then a 10 ounce lead at the bottom. We're just casting it out. Uh, basically, you just drop it to the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, he'll go, put it in uh, gear, we'll move up, let out probably 30, 40 yards of line, and then you just sit there and snag until you feel one. And uh, that's about it. That's all there is to it. So we're going to see if we can't get on some spoon bills today. Try to stay as dry as possible and uh, have a good time. This will be what uh, engages it or disengages that reel. So you'll let line out and I'll troll a little ways and then I'll just have you click this up and then basically you'll just snag like this, let it go back. So it's not like very that. deep. Don't wear yourself out. Oh, yeah, finally. Hold on though. Cool, yeah, there he is. Oh, look at that. It's a good one, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not huge, huh? That's a decent one, though. Heck yeah. He's wrapped up good. That's yeah, awesome. that one's got a tag in him. He's got a tag? Yep. Cool. That's a million dollar fish right there. What does that mean? Can you keep them if they're tagged? Yeah, you can. Heck yeah, I want to uh, keep the tag. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally. He rolled like an alligator, man. Yep. Yeah. Hey, was that on cue or what? Oh, yeah. More fish and, <laughs> and it didn't feel any different than that tree back that there, did exactly. it? <laughs> Man, you well, got him in the fly. That's lucky. That is lucky. Hey, yeah, you really did. I'd you? rather be lucky than good in the day. That is, <laughs> I don't know if you can be good at spoon drill fishing. But... That is a weird looking fish right there. I didn't think it was going to happen today. <laughs> thank you, at thank all. you, thank you. Is that his eye right there? That is. Yeah. Look Isn't that crazy looking? Is. Man, that's a weird looking fish. That is cool. Pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck it, let's stop. We're gonna eat that mm -hmm. sucker. All right, so I have never, I've never caught one of these. My dad caught this one, um, and I definitely have never cleaned one. So he's gonna show us how he does it. Um, as far as I know, they have no bones, and the whole spinal cord pulls out, and it's just like one big white, like gelatin cord. So I'm really excited about this. We're gonna take this tag out. That is so cool right there. That's like a duck band um, just in his mouth. So. He weighed 23, 24 pounds, but uh, we're gonna get him cleaned up and then get on the road. We got about a seven hour drive back home and then we'll cook this guy up. All right, explain to us what you do. Okay, so normally I've got an electric flay knife and it's a whole lot easier, but what I do is I'll cut and score around the tail here. Yeah. Actually. Take it. Let's see that. <laughs> Right here. Right. Cut right through. Man, that was a perfect steak. Yep. This is a whole lot easier when you got 
an electric mower. So he's staking that up. Look how big their mouths are. That is, that's just insane to me. So all they, what do they eat? Just for, like they're, they're plankton. plankton? Yeah, they're filter feeders. So they basically just swim upstream, downstream with their mouth wide open. And I'm, I'm guessing that all these spots on their bill are um, like their sensors and it senses where the food is. So uh, pretty wild, but we gotta get that tag off there. That's awesome. We're gonna call them on the way home and see if we can find out where this fish came from or where he was tagged. Reward tag. It says reward tag, what does that mean? $100,000 fish. <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> So he's just cutting all the fat and stuff yeah. off of it and then yeah. he'll stake it up and we'll bag it and they'll be ready to take home. Oh, yeah. So this is the spinal cord that he pulled out of it. It literally is like a hard gummy bear is how you, I would explain it. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just like a casing filled with hard jelly in it. That is wild, but we'll leave it for the fish. There's a bunch of bluegill down there. So this is what we get out of it. Um, just little, perfect little steaks. So we're gonna bag these up, take them home, and uh, I think we're gonna do like a little platter, cook it three or four different ways. We'll fry it, grill it, blacken it, maybe bake it, something like that. And uh, do a little taste test on it, see what it tastes like. I've never tried it before, so I'm really interested to see how it tastes. So we're sitting in Sonic drive through uh, getting a little grub before this seven, eight hour drive. But here's the band. I'm going to call this number. I doubt anybody's working, but uh, I'd like to see what they have to say about it. If they are there. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. All right, everybody. I am at my parents' house. We're hanging out by the pool on this uh, Friday, and we're about to cook up some of this paddlefish or uh, spoonbill. Y'all leave in the comments what it's actually called because I really don't know. Um, I've heard it called both ways. So I'm going to trim this meat up a little bit. That piece is good. You can see there's no really big chunks of fat. Now this piece, I have to cut all that wide off. That's all fat. So I'm just going to trim these up real quick. And uh, we're going to cook it two different ways. We're going to fry it. And uh, my dad just fired up the grill. We're going to grill a few pieces and uh, see how it turns out on the grill. I don't know what it's going to taste like. I've never had it. Um, so if y'all know of a way that's better than what we're doing, drop it in the comments, because we have never eaten paddlefish before. So that's just like one big hunk of fat right there. Um, it surprised us actually how little meat you get off these huge fish, just because the fact you have to trim off all the fat and, uh, and for not having bones. There's just a lot of stuff you have to do to prepare the meat. So we're gonna fry a few pieces. This is all we have here. It's just fish fry, uh, seasoned fish fry. I imagine it's cornmeal and flour. So I'm gonna take some of this, dump it in this bag, just like that. And we're gonna make these into little friable strips. So we're just making them into little like fish sticks, about that size right there. Uh, drop them in the flour. I also have trout from our Colorado trip. I got a whole bag of trout I'm about to smoke. My mom wants uh, some fresh fish dip, so that's coming soon. We'll do, we'll just grill a couple pieces. I have a feeling fried is gonna be the best way to do this. So like always, drop it in this bag, seal it up. And just toss that fish around in that seasoning. Our oil's hot, so we're just gonna drop these little fish nuggets in. That's perfect. Right there. And you just wanna brown them up on either side till that seasoning um, turns a golden brown, and then they're ready to 
take out and they eat. All right, so all that other fish is frying up, we're gonna take some Critter Glitter Fish and Fowl. If y'all are new to the channel, I have my own spice. This is the Fish and Fowl, I also have a red meat version. And uh, y'all go check it out, it'll be linked in the description. But these are the two pieces we're gonna put on the grill. Just lightly season this fish, because I really wanna taste the flavor of the fish. Just like that. I'm gonna go throw these on the grill and uh, see what they look like when they're done. Fish is done, the fried fish is done. And uh, got about a few more minutes on the grilled fish. And we'll take it around and everybody just ate. So it'll give the true flavor test. When you're full, uh, that gives you your true flavor test. When you're starving, a piece of fried cardboard would probably be a seven or eight. All right, we'll let this cool down a little bit and then uh, let's go get that grilled fish and uh, then we'll do it. All right, hot and fast, that's how we cooked it. Man, that looks good. It reminds me of um, like a swordfish steak or like a piece of gar actually. It's really firm and uh, it's not like, uh, I don't know how you'd say it, but like the lines in the meat, it's not like a crappie or a striped, huh? Like a steak. Yeah, it's more of like a steak than uh, a fish fillet. So let's take it inside and give her a taste test. We'll do a taste test. It's my first time ever trying spoonbill or um, paddlefish. I mean, it looks good. We're going fried first, see what it tastes like. Hmm. That's not bad flavor at all. Um, it's really dry. I don't know if I overcooked it. Um, let's try the grill. That's not terrible. Um, it's actually better than what I was expecting it to be. Our guide said that he didn't like it very much, so I was expecting it to be pretty bad. But let's try the grill. The grilled's not bad either. Um, Flavor-wise, the fried, the grilled has way more flavor than the fried. I'm gonna give the grilled like a five and a half. I'm gonna give the fried like a four and a half. Um, it's not bad though. I definitely catch them again and eat more of them. <clears throat> Dad's behind the camera, so let's see what he has to say. It's kind of, it's just firm. The fried. It's got that um. Oh, that fish blood. I didn't. Good. I didn't taste any of that. I was just more Bob firm. Bob. It reminds me of like a dried out tuna steak. Yeah. Definitely catch up with that. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have catch up with fried fish. We'll go for the big, big kahuna here. I like the grill a lot better. Kind of tastes like river water. <laughs> um, Snaggy. Yeah, I'd go with a four for both of them. For both? Yeah. Fried maybe a little less, but... Yeah, which one do you like better? Like, which one would you prefer? The grill definitely is better than the fried. The fried, like, there's no taste hardly at all. Yeah. The grill tastes good. It's got a good texture, but it has a little, little river water <laughs> I didn't finish get, to it. I didn't get, I didn't get that uh, river water taste, but we like, we like game meat, so we kind of like a little bit of that gaminess, but I didn't taste it in that. So, um, I had a great time. Me and my dad went up to Missouri, like y'all saw, and did a little spoonbill fishing. Y'all stay tuned for the upcoming video. I'm working on the jet boat. That's the reason why we went up to Missouri um, to get the motor for my jet boat. So, I actually just finished it last night. It was a huge ordeal. Everything you could think of went wrong, but uh, made it back safe. We're out here just hanging out with family and uh, chilling by the pool. So, I hope you all have a great weekend. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.